Welcome to The Bid, where we break down what's happening in the markets and explore the forces changing the economy and finance. I'm your host, Oscar Polito. Today, we're highlighting our new weekly short form series from the BlackRock Investment Institute called Market Take. Market Take is a quick digest of what's driving markets and was available as its own podcast where you can subscribe. Subscribe to Market Take wherever you get your podcasts. What's driving markets? Welcome to Market Take. Each week, we'll bring you our insights on the latest market and economic trends that are impacting investments. I'm your host, Christopher Weber, head of climate research, BlackRock Investment. This week, I'll discuss the low carbon transition, one of five mega forces or structural shifts that we track to identify investment risks and opportunities. We're following three topics and their investment implications at this year's UN Climate Conference, COP28 in Dubai. First, climate resilience. Society's ability to prepare for and withstand climate risks is an underappreciated investment theme, we think. We see companies that create and adopt products and services that boost climate resilience should be on investors' radars and will become a more widely recognized opportunity. Why? The number of climate events with inflation-adjusted damages above $1 billion has steadily climbed over the past roughly four decades. As such risks increase, we are seeing early signs of growing demand for products and services that boost climate resilience. Case in point, Demand for home air filtration appliances in the northeastern U.S. spiked during the Canadian wildfires in early 2023. Emerging markets are said to bear some of these risks more acutely, given greater exposure to physical climate damage. And yet, they face difficulties in raising the financing needed for the transition. We think this also offers an investment opportunity and is an important part of tracking the speed and shape of the overall transition. Second, we see emerging markets playing a pivotal role in the transition. We estimate that they will account for over half of energy demand and carbon emissions by 2050. But they'll likely face lower than needed transition-related investments due to factors like a greater perceived investment risk, higher cost of capital, and greater exposure to physical climate damage. We think closing the financing gap would require significant public sector reforms and private sector innovation resulting in greater blending of public and private capital. We think successful reforms could see low-carbon investments in EMs rise on average by a further $200 billion a year, or $4 trillion overall, above our base view of a major increase in investment between 2030 and 2050. (music) Lastly, we think COP28 will offer further details about policies that are likely to drive how the mix of energy use evolves and the investment opportunities. Countries at COP28 look poised to agree to triple capacity of renewable power by 2030. We think further policy support may make the goal achievable. And yet, the S&P Global Clean Energy Index is down about 29% year-to-date, LSEG data show. Even with this growth in renewables, meeting global energy demand will rely on traditional energy for some time. And we think it can outperform at times, especially when there are supply-demand mismatches. We also see policy, technology, and consumer preferences driving an accelerating shift to renewable energy in developed markets. 2023 has seen record growth of about 50 to 70% for renewable energy, according to the International Energy Agency. Here's our market take. We monitor COP28 for signs of growth in low-carbon transition-related investment themes. We see granular opportunities in public companies that produce climate resilience solutions across sectors like technology and industrials. And we think public sector reforms could make it easier for private market players to fill the emerging market financing gap. For details, read our weekly market commentary. Go to www.blackrock.com slash weekly hyphen commentary. Thank you for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this episode, subscribe to Market Take wherever you get your podcasts. 
This material is intended for information purposes only and does not constitute investment advice, a recommendation, or an offer or solicitation to purchase or sell any securities, funds, or strategies to any person in any jurisdiction in which an offer, solicitation, purchase, or sale would be unlawful under the securities laws of such jurisdiction. The opinions expressed are as of date of publication and are subject to change without notice. Reliance upon information in this material is at the sole discretion of the listener. Investing involves risks. BlackRock does and may seek to do business with companies covered in this podcast. As a result, listeners should be aware that the firm may have a conflict of interest that could affect the objectivity of this podcast.